Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit more about voice of the customer and primarily the distribution of the surveys. So in the last video, we, you know, we gave you just kind of a quick little overview on how to configure everything, how to you get kind of a baseline survey set up and, and talked a little bit about distribution, but we didn't get a whole lot into it. You really have three ways that you can distribute a survey. You can either have kind of an anonymous survey where you can just basically take the link for the survey and you can attach it to an email or any other item that you want and people can take the survey anonymously. You can embed it into an iframe, so it gives you actually a URL for the survey that you can use to embed into an iframe and then they can go ahead and work with it from there. Or you can actually send an email and when you generate the email like activity within CRM, it'll actually send out a custom link to that survey that identifies certain elements based upon how you've kind of defined that. So think about it, you know, from a workflow perspective, maybe you have somebody who has you know, resolved a case and now you want to send them a customer satisfaction survey just to see how that process went. Well, you can create basically a customized what's called survey activity or a survey invitation that sends out to that user and then walks them through a series of questions. And you can even embed CRM data into that survey so then that way it's more of a custom experience. So rather than asking, you know, how is your experience with the agent, you can say, how would you rate your experience with Derek? And you can actually feed in information from that specific case. So let's explore that workflow scenario just for argument's sake. So I've already gone in and just created a baseline workflow called Satisfaction Survey. It's running on the case entity. It's running when the record status changes, so when the status of the record changes. And in this case, it's just got a condition in it that says if the status reason of the case equals problem solved. So we've fixed the problem and now we want to basically send them out a survey. So now I can go ahead and I can send an email. Now there's a couple of different ways I can do this. I can obviously just send a blank email and then I can compose that email based upon what I want to do. Or I can actually send out kind of use email templates. Now if you're using email templates one thing you have to remember is each survey has kind of its own unique URL that's associated with it and then it will build that URL based upon you know who you're sending it to and those kind of things. So if you are going to use email templates to for survey distribution you do have to remember that you would have to have a specific email template for each survey that you want to distribute. Now in this case we'll just do kind of a, a blank email message. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit set properties. And I've already got some, some baseline information for this email composed. So it's coming from me. It's going to whoever the contact was on the case. Um, I'm feeding in some dynamic CRM information. So I'm, hello, you know, welcome for this information. We would like you to take a quick survey. Um, and it's represented to the owner of the case. So based upon who the case owner is within that contact of, of, of within that situation. So now I want to embed my survey information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my survey and there will be a copy snippet option. Now, before we do that, one quick thing I want to show you. This email snippet here is what's basically going to build the URL. So this is just a snippet of code that's used to build the URL. One of the other things that you have the option to do for each survey is there's what's called an invitation link text. And this is what you can actually, rather than having them click on some big weird link, this is where you can actually put in kind of the message that you want to put in so they can click on that item as they're going through. And that's included into the URL. So it knows to replace that when the time is right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this snippet and I'm going to add this to my item. And now I'm going to go back into my email message. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically come in here and I'm going to paste it in. Pretty straightforward. Now, this is where you can do some interesting stuff because as I mentioned, you can tailor these surveys a little bit based upon the people that you're that you're working through. And so they use what are called um, pipe data. So there's a specific set of fields or, or options basically that you can use like dates and different items. And they're basically just name value pairs that allow you to include in this link information about the person who's going to be taking this survey. So again, rather than say, you know, how is your experience with agent, you can say, how is your experience with Derek? And so you can feed some of that information in. So what you do is after this GUID or after this unique ID for the item, you're going to basically insert kind of a bar and then you're going to define what it is that you want to work with. So in this case, um, I, one of the things I can feed in is I can feed in customer information. So they define that as customer. And then I can just 
basically say this is the the that I the, the item that I'm looking for. What is the value that I want to use? Now, if you were just sending this via regular email, this is where you could type in whatever you want to do. But if you think about it in the scope of the workflow, we can dynamically populate these information based upon information in the record. So now I can basically say that the customer equals in this case the contact associated with the case so i'm gonna go ahead and hit add and okay and then after this i will define another one so i just basically put my vertical bar in there again and i define what the next option is in this case which is going to be user because this is going to be the user who was basically working with them and in this case i'm going to say that the user is going to equal the owner of the case Now I could, and there's other options and we'll talk about that when we get into some of the question options in another video. But in this case, it's, it's pretty much ready to go. So now I can go ahead and I can save this. Now, now don't be alarmed in the fact that it's still a snippet from this standpoint. It's not actually going to populate the URL uh, and, the, and the link until the email is actually sent within the application itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and close this. I'm gonna activate my workflow. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a case. So I'll go into service and cases, call this tip of the day demo case. The customer is going to be Coho Winery. And the contact will be Jim Glenn. I'm going to save my case. And then resolve it. Now my workflow engine is going to take over and it's going to send an email. And then once we get the email, we'll show you what that looks like. So here's the email. And as you can see, the snippet has been replaced with just my click here to begin survey link that was now in there and then any of the pipe data that i had included in there would now be available to be displayed as part of the questions when we're working with it now i didn't put any pipe data in the questions and we'll show you that actually in in the next video that we do but now i go ahead and click on the survey it'll open up the survey and then we can walk through and take the, the survey from there so that's how you do survey distribution. Now, a couple of quick little things. Um, you are limited um, over a 24 hour period or you do have a daily limit of basically 10,000 emails that can be sent out or piped with CRM data per day. If you exceed that 10,000 limit, then what it does is it just queues it up until the next 24 hour period and then it will start sending information from there. As far as survey responses go, you're limited to 2,400 survey responses per day. Same thing, if you exceed that amount, it'll just queue it up and then process information from there. But, you know, 10,000 email invites in one day, that's quite a bit. So as you can see, it, it's pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. I would definitely recommend playing with the pipe data a little bit. But as we move forward, we'll just kind of continue showing you, you know, some of the other question customizations and things that you can do. So again, for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, I hope you enjoyed our survey distribution video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and have a good one.